Welcome back to our Sea Golf channel. Learning by watching. Today, we're delving into the incredible world of John Ram's driver swing. But here's the catch. We'll be watching his short backswing in slow motion from different perspective views. John Ram. Known for his powerful and precise swings often surprises us with his shorter backswing, particularly with the driver. Today, we're breaking down his unique approach to help you out to master this precision driver swing on the course. First things first. Observe RAM setup. The fundamentals remain the same. Shoulders parallel, a stable base, and a controlled grip. What sets the stage for his short backswing is a slightly more compact and controlled posture, setting the tone for what's to come. Takeaway. Notice how he keeps the club as close as possible to the ground, finishing his takeaway with the shaft parallel to the ground and matching the feet's toe line. Smooth and easy movement. To the top. Notice how short his backswing is. This shorter backswing allows him to maintain control and precision, especially when wielding the big stick. But let's listen to Ram's explanation. But I, I grew up in tree line courses, uh -huh. grew up in the forest basically, so it was not working very well. He said I was kind of going through my growth spurt as well, right? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? learn how to hit a straight and he basically forced me to never get past my shoulder height. My, the goal was to have the club aiming at the sky and then swing from there. Yeah. As Ram smoothly transitions from the short backswing to the downswing, pay close attention to his lower body initiating the movement. The abbreviated backswing doesn't compromise the power. It merely loads the energy efficiently. Ready to be unleashed. At this point, there is not any intention to swing the golf club. Just awaiting to pull the trigger. John Ram's hips and shoulders rotate with purpose, harnessing the stored energy from the shorter backswing. The compact yet explosive motion results in a crisp impact. At impact, body is in perfect alignment, delivering the sweet spot to the ball. It's a testament to how a short backswing can be a valuable tool in your golf arsenal. There was also a drill we used to make. He, he loved having me feel like I was taking the club here. Right. Right? And then swing as hard as I could, so it'd be something like this. Good, so it'd be something like this. John Ram's drill. Practicing John Ram drill. Notice the move of the hips. On transition from back to downswing.
After the transition, swing as hard as you can. And finish on balance over the left foot. really me understanding he was making me move my, my lower body right and creating that motion now really me understanding he was making me move my, my lower body right and creating that motion now the follow-through and finished position it is still balanced and controlled, despite having a short backswing sequence. Right. So when my teacher realizes that, Eduardo realizes if I go from here I had more, more strength, or at least more balance to get it straighter and actually didn't really lose distance. Don't try to be perfect. I've had multiple teachers throughout my life tell me I need to get it to parallel in a perfect position and I've basically said no since I was 14 to all of them. So I was like, I don't want to. Do you know who the best teacher is? Who? The golf ball. Is the golf ball going where you go? It won't. Yeah. Then there's nothing to change. Is the golf ball going where you go? It won't. Yeah. Then there's nothing to change. And there you have it. A detailed analysis of John Ram's driver swing in slow motion. With a focus on his short backswing. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up and get notified for more golf tips and analyses. Until next time, may your swings be both powerful and precise.